The high wields landscape of rolling countryside, ridges and deep valleys comes from the underlying bands of sandstone and clay. The hard sandstone forms the high ridges, generally running east-west. The softer clay is easily worn away and forms the steep valleys in between. The sandstones and clays of the high weald were originally laid down as sandy and muddy sediments. Starting around 140 million years ago, when dinosaurs still roamed, these sediments formed at the bottom of shallow lakes or were carried by rivers and deposited on floodplains. Around 100 million years ago, sea levels rose and the remains of billions of tiny sea creatures then formed another layer of sediment above the sands and muds. Over time, this became chalk. Around 30 million years ago, massive earth movements began to push all the compacted layers of sediment up, creating a giant chalk-covered dome. Over time, water eroded most of the chalk away, revealing the older sandstones and clays beneath, the high and low weald. The chalk at the edges of the dome has remained, forming the north and south downs. The hardest areas of sandstone now forms the distinctive sandstone outcrops of the high weald. In addition, fast-flowing streams have carved out characteristic steep-sided ravines called gills in the steep sides of the sandstone ridges. The porous, moisture-holding sandstone and sheltered, damp gills provide ideal living conditions for ferns, mosses, liverworts and lichens. Most famous is the tiny and extremely rare Tunbridge filmy fern, 